Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of February 2022. Now, it is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check, um, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Also, although I'm reading for February, know that um, you could be feeling these energies whenever you view this video, whether it's February, March, April, May. Um, it's whenever you're drawn to the video is when you're meant to hear its message. <clears throat> All right, so at the heart of the reading, we have the card of love. Here, this is the beloved. This is love, a love interest, love affairs, desire, passion. Um, this could be a partner, a relationship. Now, this is either your energy or it is theirs. And um, what I feel here from what I see with regards to uh, someone you love or someone who loves you, it feels like, and I'm going to say that, uh, this is them. I feel like they are keeping you at a distance. I feel like you're trying to figure out how to get past that barrier. But let me just tell you that although they're keeping you at a distance, there's something else going on here. So I'll get to that. Um, but your desire, your wish, the direction you wish to go is to get past the wall <clears throat> the wall or to gain some ground with regards to this relationship um i feel like you're uh you've taken out the star out of the lantern so you've taken out a direction maybe you're questioning it maybe you're wondering how to get there because you hold the star in your hand but here's the star here maybe you're looking for signs or maybe they are <clears throat> this could be um uh this could be a desire to to heal uh this love relationship somebody may have threw up a wall because maybe uh they felt that something was unfair maybe they felt um like a victim somehow um we have the mermaid clarifying this and um so what i think is that somebody uh could have blew things out of proportion somebody because uh this speaks to um it speaks to somebody who has a, a very vivid imagination this is somebody who uh, who's fantasizing and I mean deeply fantasizing about the other okay the person in the person who has the wall up <laughs> this person has a lot of insecurities they may have uh, pulled a deception uh, this is like a sleight of hand because and but what i think was it was almost like uh the gauntlet being thrown <laughs> i feel like they got this wall up but it's almost like they're expecting you you know i feel like they do love you and they do desire you there's a deep desire here um but somebody it could be somebody is missing information and felt insecure with the house being here and maybe tried something or did something in a deceptive way to try to get that information or bring it to them yeah interesting because i feel like they ended it but didn't really want to end it like it wasn't supposed to go that way it wasn't planned 
that way. That's not how it was supposed to go. One minute, I'll be right back. I'm so sorry about that. So, um, they may have done it to initiate change because maybe they didn't like the way things were going, you know. But it wasn't supposed to end. Um, or, yeah, it wasn't supposed to be like a final ending. Hmm, yeah. Um, it feels like um, they're carrying uh, the weight of the secret of the deception of what they'd done. It's almost like the, they, they did it uh, and now this is the consequence and it's difficult for them to come back from this because they're very prideful um, because uh, in effect the whole reason for doing it was they wanted you to go to them and that's what I think this is. It's what I'm picking up here on these cards. Yeah. Will they come to me? Oh, that's what it is. So it, it it's like it didn't go as planned, you know. Um and maybe they feel they feel that something's unfair and unjust here. Justice is in the reverse. Or this is about them holding back a truth. Yeah, this is about them holding back a truth with justice in the reverse. They didn't play by the rules. And um, they brought in the tower. And they took a risk. They took a gamble. And they lost. And now it's like, with the eye, they're behind the scenes and they're watching and uh, pretending here. We have, oh my God, look at this. The great actor, <laughs> the great pretender. And um, that's what this is, but he does he does love you. There is that continual flow of emotion. The love never stopped, even though it might have appeared that way with the magician being here. No, this love, this love never stopped. They may have struggled with it and they are pretending right now behind the mask, hiding their true feelings. But trust me, <laughs> they love you. Okay. There's no question in my mind. So, but this is about having to admit to something, which is difficult for that king because he is very, um, very prideful. And he does have a lot of insecurities. Um, it's why he did what he did. And so, you know, he's alone with his thoughts. He's lonely. He's longing for this healing. He has, with the perspective card here, he has gained a new perspective on something. He's, it's like the pieces fall into place. But... It's, all, it's like he had to lose it to see it, unfortunately, you know. But it doesn't mean that it is completely over, you know. It's not. Here. With death in reverse. And nor does it feel over. And from what I can see, um, whatever they've been holding on to, it will be released. And there will be an apology with that page of cups. There will be a new offer that will be coming. 
a making up. You see, <laughs> here he is. Yeah, 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 look at that. He's been holding on to the truth of what he did. You know, he's been holding back his true feelings and how he truly feels, he or she. They've been keeping it to themselves. They've been playing their cards really close to their chest and keeping uh, this truth hidden. There they are. Maybe afraid of change. Death is behind them. Afraid to step out of their comfort zone? Possibly. Yeah, to move this to a better place. But here they lie, you know, alone and lonely in their comfort zone, wondering with their pain, you know, wondering how to fix this. Um, <clears throat> understanding or coming to the understanding that change needs to happen. And they're going to, they are actually going to come and release you from uh, the thoughts that you've been having uh, surrounding this situation, any emotional or mental turmoil uh, that you have been having. They're coming to... Um, to offer the explanation that you've been seeking, um, to have this communication. Um, this could also be them becoming, um, uh, becoming uh, aware. It could be them finally deciding to, uh, to face their fears. The Two of Cups, making up, nice, this is what they desire, this is what's on their mind, overcoming the difficulties between you. And this person has something to share with you, okay, I see it right here in the next card. They have something to share with you, okay, and... Um, they're not, they're not, uh, I think they're somewhat uh, afraid uh, to share it or to tell you or to admit, you know, or to, uh, afraid for your reaction. So what we have here is uh, this person wants to change the status with the hat and return things and restore uh, restore the balance here in, in this relationship with those cards. What we have is the Three of Wands, the Fool, the Empress, the Six of Coins, the Two of Coins, Death. We also have another uh, love card here um, with the kisses, love and passion, um, attraction. This person could make just a sudden quick decision, just like that, boom. They have been thinking about it for a long time. They have been sitting back. Maybe they've even been waiting for the right moment. Maybe the right moment just, boom, arrives. And there's not much time to think. They just kind of jump in. So, um, to advance, um, one needs to dare. They need to take that risk. That's what this card is saying here. They need to take the risk. Um, or a new approach to something. They expect that they might take a fall, but um, they're, they're, they're daring to take the risk here in the future is what I see um, with the Empress because, uh, because they feel that you are the perfect fit for them, that there is no other.
you know, I mean, they're already at rock bottom with the tower. The only way to go from here is up, right? So, um, this is about a decision to restore the balance, to return things to balance, and uh, to change things. So, change is what they were fearing. Um, where did I see that? Back here. They were, they were afraid of the death back here, afraid to leave their comfort zone. But here we see, um, and this is to move it to a calmer place, to, to make up. It's all here. And so they were afraid of that in the past, but here we see in the future, they're no longer afraid. There's death right there. So they're stepping out of their comfort zone. They're daring to take the risk, even knowing that they might fall, but also knowing that you're the perfect fit, that you, you are the one. So they're definitely, definitely coming forward. They're taking the risk. They're making the change. So what we have is the frog as our final advice here. And this is uh, basically about cleaning house, getting rid of anything that was weighing heavily on one's heart or mind, anything that was blocking the progress. And they themselves were blocking the progress by uh, an action that they took and then not telling the truth about it, you know, pretending, um, pretending that everything was okay when it's not, pretending uh, not to care when they do. This person was hiding their true feelings and they were hiding a deception. They, you know, they did something underhanded to try to uh, to, t to try to control an outcome, but it didn't work. Still, in this process here, they have learned a valuable lesson. Here they come, so get ready. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, um, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.